But state police wouldn't say where he would be locked up after they processed him at the state police barracks. But Erie News Now, Philip Ward has learned that it will be here in Erie at the Erie County Prison. Philip, why here? Well, good evening, Lisa. Yeah, that's correct. I can confirm to you that Michael Byrne will indeed be incarcerated here in the Erie County Prison. I spoke with Erie County Executive Brenton Davis inside of the Erie County Prison shortly after hearing of Burham's arrest, and he confirmed that Michael Burham will indeed be coming here to Erie County. Now, Davis says after being in contact with the Fugitive Task Force, U.S. Marshals, and judges, Erie County will take custody of Burham. Now, we're not exactly sure yet when Burham will be here, but given his previous escape from the Warren County Jail, I asked the county executive if he has any concerns about something like that happening here in Erie County. He tells me that Erie County residents can rest assured knowing that Burham will not be escaping from this prison. Erie County is the most secure facility in western Pennsylvania. I would stack our jail up to just about any in the country. So, I mean, that's another reason why, even leading up to this, there was plans that when he was caught, and they knew he would be caught, that he would come here. You know, this is a great facility. We've got the finest corrections officers and staff around in western Pennsylvania. And, I mean, there's absolutely no chance he's getting out of here. Lisa Davis also told me that Burham will be under constant watch and his movements will be very restricted. After more than 200 law enforcement officials have been looking for Burham, it was only a matter of time until they found him. And Davis is also thankful that no one was injured or no lives were lost during the manhunt. Live in the studio, Philip Ward, Erie News Now.